Hey, Zach Northway here from Flywheel Supply to tell you about an exciting new little uh, project we did. Uh, this year at our show, Power of the Past, in June, we uh, built little model engines. People would come right through the shop and build them on the machines and then assemble them and take them home as a little souvenir, and they were really cool. Lots of people saw them. We went through tons of them, and a lot of people have seen them online and elsewhere since then and have asked to be able to buy them. So... We have put together a little kit where you can buy them and uh, get them shipped right to your house and put them together yourself or uh, pick them up from us at one of the shows. So we're going to have them with us at the Baraboo and Portland shows and of course all the shows we do. And if you buy them from us at the show, you'll be able to put them together right there. So here's what here's what you get. Uh, this is the, the kit, if you will. You'll get uh, the base and a little uh, S-Express air cock. You'll get a couple of these spacers, a couple bolts, a set screw, a shoulder bolt, a spring. Uh, I will say um, on some of the kits, we actually changed to a shoulder, shorter shoulder bolt and eliminated the spring. We figured out we were making them run just fine without it and it uh, seemed like it was simpler to put together. So um, anyway, there is a little variation there. And then you get the flywheel. And the uh, crankshaft comes pre-assembled with the pins in it, so you don't have to do that part. We did that for you. You get the uh, cylinder, you get the little piston, and you get the actual mainframe of the engine. What you don't get is some Allen wrenches or torque wrenches and the air hose fitting. Uh, supply that stuff yourself, but here's how it goes together. It's, it's super simple. Take the uh, base plate here, or the the main block of the engine and the air cock will screw in this hole right here. Like so. And then the spacers go on the base plate over top of the holes here. The two identical uh, socketed cap screws go through here, through the spacers and into the base but you have to pay attention as I didn't. There's a recessed hole on one side and not on the other. So put the recess, you know, so the screw drops through like that. Put these on here, then you use your Allen wrench. Get one started. And we'll snug those up. Then <laughs> the cylinder is held on. If you have the kit with the spring, you put the spring on the shoulder bolt. Now, again, if you got a kit that doesn't include a spring and the bolt is shorter, don't worry, it works just as well. Actually, if not better. Uh, this goes through the uh, cylinder like so, and then onto the side of the engine, I'll show you right here like that. Um, you can take uh, sandpaper, there may be some sharp edges, you can sand them smooth. And the smoother the surfaces are right here, where these two little holes are, the smoother this is, and the smoother the mating hole is right here, the better this will glide together, and the better that glides, the more efficient your engine is going to run. They um, run better and better as they run, because that wears in a little bit, but um, you can always clean that up a little bit. So then we'll snug that up like so. Then the crankshaft goes through this hole right here like so. And then finally the piston goes in the cylinder and you just lift it up and drop it over like so. That's how the uh, piston connects to the camshaft like that. Then the flywheel is this little guy here and there's a tiny little set screw. Drop it down in the uh, hole there, and then it helps to start that, which I could have done off camera ahead of time, but I thought maybe you'd want to see my blunders of me trying to, to do that. Maybe I'll put it on the Allen wrench first. And then it's important when you put the flywheel on, one side of the flywheel here has this like step 
And this little bump here, this little stepped part needs to go towards the engine like this. You see, that's so you don't get as much friction when it's spinning. So it acts like this. And then uh, put that on there. Tighten it up. And don't, don't squeeze these together excessively. Just have them touch, but don't make them tight because this should be able to free spin when you're done. If it doesn't spin freely, back it up just a little bit. And then uh, take a little bit of your favorite uh, penetrating oil or whatever and put a couple of drops here and here, a little on the uh, piston, a little on this pivot point, and you can even spray a little in the uh, air cock itself. And then we'll arrange this so that the handle is up like that. So now that's what comes as the kit. That's what you're going to build. And then you're going to need an air hose coupling for whatever style air hose you have at home. And screw that in here. And they're made uh, with a quarter inch uh, thread here, so pipe thread. So it's just a standard thread there. And then uh, turn the valve off. Attach your air hose. And it doesn't take very much. Just turn the valve on a little bit. And... Uh, there you have it. And then you can control the speed of the engine by the little throttle right there. And then they do run really fast too. And we've gotten them just from running and running and running. We've gotten some to run just incredibly slow. Like I said, the more you run them, the, uh, the better they'll run. So anyway, that's a little uh, kit. You can order yours online at flywheel-supply.com. Or by calling 866-657-5335. Or uh, check us out on one of the shows. If you have any questions, let us know.